Hi, this is Nani. Welcome to my channel. Sit back and relax because I'm going to talk about punctuation marks in English grammar as requested by my former students. So please don't forget to click like and subscribe right down below. It would be very wonderful. So let's get started. Now allow me to share my slides so that you can follow me there you go actually I'll be talking about 14 commonly used punctuation marks in English grammar so three of the 14 punctuation marks in English grammar are used as um, sentence endings so let's begin with the first one which is period Period is known as full stop. Alright, so when to use periods? First, we use period at the end of sentences that are statements. When we say statements, those are sentences that tell something or tell us about facts. For example, the earth revolves around the sun. Another one, female sharks have thicker skins than males. All right, period also is used at the end of sentences that are comments. Talking about comments sentences, these are sentences that tell someone to do something or to act something, like go to sleep and cover your mouth. Period also is used as at the end of sentences that are indirect questions. What are indirect questions? Indirect questions are those reported questions to another person, which is not actually the exact questions of the speaker or the one um, um, speaking. Take for examples. He asked me why I didn't take my medicine yesterday. Another example, I wondered why my computer was not working. Alright, we use also period in abbreviations, examples, like TR period for um, doctor, this is the abbreviation for doctor. And another is we have here U period S period A period USA is also the abbreviation for United States of America. We use also periods in website addresses like for example www.learnersdictionary.com and also www.really-learn-english.com How to use a period in sentences? So that's gonna be your question. So first, do not put a space before a period used to end a sentence. So this is the correct way of uh, writing a sentence using a period, the sky is blue. So there is no space before a period. And this one is an incorrect way of uh, using a period. Like as you have noticed, there is a space before a period. So this is an incorrect way of writing or using a period. In a sentence. Now, we number two. Do not put one. I mean, do put one space after the period if it is followed by another sentence. Let's have a look at this example. Is this the correct one? I drive to the town. Period, and we leave space before another sentence. The city is. Here, the period. This one is incorrect one because um, you can see 
I drive to the town and then there is no space before another sentence. So this is incorrect. Another way of um, writing it, I use it here incorrectly, is this one. I drive to the town and you leave four spaces before another sentence. Okay, now let's proceed to another punctuation mark, which is question mark. Question mark indicates a direct question. Examples, why does the sun go on shining? What is photosynthesis? Next is exclamation point. Exclamation point express strong emotion or an emphasis. Examples, you are amazing. So you have to read it with a strong emotion. Like it's very different when you just say, you are amazing. So there is no strong emotion. So it should be, you are amazing. Or I really love you. Right, so number four, we have comma. Comma is used to show direct address. Example, thanks for listening, John. Again, thanks for listening, John. So after listening, we put comma before the word John. John here is whom the statement thank for listening addresses to right another thing here is that we use comma to show or to separate list or elements within sentences take note there are three or more items being listed within um, a sentence example plants need sunlight water and carbon dioxide to make food so as you have noticed, we put um, comma before the conjunction and so we call this as serial comma or Oxford comma. So this is only applicable for three or more items in the list. So in this case, there are three items in the list which are sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. All right. Let's proceed to the next, commas in dates. So in this case, um, June 12, 1898 was an important day in Philippine history. So in this case, we, it follows the format month, day, and year. So after the, the, the day, I mean, yes, and the year, we put comma. Another example is I was born on Sunday. We use comma September 27, 1980. So in this format, um, days of the week and the date. So we put comma after the day and the date also. We use also comma in writing letter like dear jane comma for the salutation part and also for the closing part like when we say your friend comma all right do you follow so next we have semicolon semicolon is used to connect two independent clauses let's have a look at this example you should stop eating so food and after we put the semicolon and then another independent clause you have to go on diet so remember in this sentence there are two independent clause what do you mean by independent clause independent clause stand can stand as a sentence so when we say sentence the, the there is a complete subject and predicate and the meaning is complete so 
in this case, um, there are two independent clauses and we connect them using um, semicolon I mean to form one sentence. Another example is this one. There is evidence of global warming and then we put semicolon then another independent clause some people will never believe it so in this sentence there are two independent clauses so we use um, semicolon to connect them next punctuation is colon we use colon after a word introducing a quotation or introducing an example or a series let's have a look at this example the dog trainer gave us this instruction then we put colon because this um, um, statement here introduced a quotation which says love your dog and she will love you okay next example I was planning to study four subjects four subjects I need so we after the word subject we put colon to introduce a series of words like biology mathematics sociology and physics good number two we use um, colon between independent clauses when the second explains the first so in this example I didn't have time to get changed we use colon and take note of the second clause I was already late the second clause here explains the first clause which is I didn't have to get changed so that's why we use colon we also use colon for emphasis take for example there is one thing I loved more than any other so we use colon and followed by these words my children my children here are words that are being emphasized all right so before for these words we put uh, colon to give emphasis next punctuation mark is a dash dash is used to separate words into statements actually there are two kinds of dash first we have m dash and the other one is m dash let's um, talk about n dash first n dash is twice as long as hyphen so as you can see and um, its width is about the width of letter n so actually there are four uses of the n dash first n dash is used to, sh to show a range of number let's uh, have a look at this example there will be 20 I mean 10 to 20 kids at the game so a range of number here um, 20 and then we use n dash and then 20 all right n dash also is used to show a period of time take for example the meetings will be held May 11 then n dash May 15 2020 so May 11 to May 15 here shows a period of time so we use n dash all right another thing also is that um, n dash is also used to show distance take for example the flight Australia um, to Philippines is long so in this case we use um, in I mean n dash between Australia um, and Philippines to show distance 
and this also is used to show game scores take for example the team won the game 15 and dash 10 all right so now have a look at this example this is an incorrect way of using n dash like when we say Fidel V. Ramos was president of Philippines from 1992 and then n dash is being used here 1998 so this is incorrect because um, the range of date is introduced by the word from so we do not use n dash instead of n dash we use to the word to so the correct way of writing this one is fidel v ramos was president of philippines from 1992 to 1998 that is correct another thing another example which is incorrect way of using n dash is this one James eats between 50 and then N dash 60 donuts per month. So as you have noticed, the range of numbers here, 15 to 60, is introduced by the word between. And then this is incorrect. We cannot use N dash here. What will be the correct way of writing this one? So this is the correct way of writing James eats between 50 and so instead of using n dash we use the word and it's because the this um, range of um, number is introduced by the word between so James eats between 50 and 60 donuts per month another kind of dash is what we call m dash and it is written this way it is represented by three hyphen as you can see on the screen and its width is about the width of letter m so when do we use m dash m dash we use m dash in place of commas or parentheses to create a break in a sentence example please call my friend then m dash elaine cruz and m dash on tuesday so instead of using comma or parenthesis we can use m dash all right perfect now we use an m dash like a colon or semicolon to create emphasis so in place of a colon we have here I need five things at the store so instead of, of using colon or semicolon we can use m dash in this case so m dash butter milk flour coffee and bread now we can use also m dash in place of a semicolon example my son love loves chocolate then m dash my brother loves vanilla all right now we can use also also m dash to show a sudden change of thought take for example I am going to buy um, so you have a sudden change of thought to say hey what do you want for your birthday so in this case we can use M dash now let's proceed to another kind of punctuation mark which is hyphen hyphen is used to join two or more words together into compound Term. so we are uh, we will use hyphen or compound words so take note it is not separated by spaces examples this is the correct way of using hyphen part-time so as you can see after the word part there is no space before hyphen and after hyphen there is no space so this is correct one 
another example which is also correct is back to back so as you can see there is no space they're not separated by spaces and also well known so let's have a look at this one what makes it incorrect what do you think okay take so as you can see after the word part there is a space before hyphen and after hyphen there is also a space so this is incorrect all right now next quotation mark is what we call brackets it is a squared of notations it is used for technical explanation or to clarify meaning examples he mr jones was the first person seen at the house so mr jones here are, is enclosed with the brackets and this is not really necessary it's just additional explanation to to the word he in the sentence now, mr jones uh, refer to the word he in the sentence even if we are going to remove mr jones in the sentence it will not change the meaning of the sentence so meaning um, still the sentence makes sense all right so another example we have here is ne she and she mary is a great friend of mine so mary here is just an additional explanation it's referred to she so if we will remove this one from the sentence it doesn't change the meaning of the of the sentence right next we have braces braces used to contain two or more lines of text or listed items to show that they are considered as a unit so in english in in written in, in english language we seldom used i mean we seldom use braces um braces is commonly used in mathematical expressions and in science so for example this one for mathematical expressions we have two open brace one plus open bracket 20 3 minus 3 close bracket and close parenthesis equals x all right next we have parenthesis parenthesis is a curved notations used to contain further thoughts or qualifying remarks example sam the boy from the school so the boy from the school here is enclosed in parenthesis help me with my homework so the boy from the school here is just a further thought about Sam so it's not really um, it, it, if we will remove this one from the sentence it won't affect the meaning of the sentence another example Sean and Jane who were actually half brother and sister both have red hair so who were actually half brother and sister here are additional um, remarks or information for Chan and Jane so even if it is removed from the sentence it won't change the meaning of the sentence all right so next we have apostrophe apostrophe indicates omission of letters from a word example i've seen that movie several times she wasn't the only one who knew the answer so i apostrophe ve here is a contracted form of i have so in this case we use apostrophe to shorten the word another is wasn't so this is actually a contraction form of a word of the words was not so to make it short we use 
apostrophe. So it becomes wasn't. Now we also use apostrophe. I mean, apostrophe also indicates possessive case. Take for example, Sarah's dog is the neighbor. Sarah's dog, meaning the owner of the dog is Sarah. So we use um, apostrophe s to show possession. Um, to, 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 to show possession, I mean Sarah owns the dog, so it becomes Sarah's dog. Okay, next apostrophe also indicates plural for lowercase letters, like six people were told to mind their P's and Q's. Next punctuation mark is what we call quotation marks. Quotation marks is used for direct codes. What is direct codes? Direct codes is are the it are the exact words of someone else in your writing. For example, it's getting late. Fair said. It's getting late here is the exact word of fair. So that's why we put um, we enclose this word with quotation marks. Um, another example here, um, don't go outside, he said, so this is actually the exact word of um, the person, so it should be enclosed in a quotation marks. Next, um, quotation marks also used to um, for words as words, like indicate which word you are referring to. For example, you are referring to SEO. SEO is a short for search engine optimiz optimization. So SEO here should be enclosed in parentheses. I mean, quotation marks, sorry. Okay, now we use, we use also quotation marks for titles of short works such as poems, chapter titles, and short stories. Example, Mad Girl's Love Song. This is a poem by Sylvia Plath. So it should be enclosed in um, quotation marks. We have also say, single quotation marks which are used most, most frequently for codes within codes. Let's see this example. Marie told the teacher, I saw Mark on the playground and he said to me, he started a fight and I believed him. So from this, I saw until I believed him. This is um, uh, these are words closed in quotation marks and within these codes there is another there are another words so being quoted so this time um, we use single code all right so remember single quotation is used within codes now the last completion mark we have ellipses. It is represented by three periods or three dots, as you can see in your screen. It is used in writing or printing to indicate an omission, especially of letter or words. Example: She began to count one, two, three, four, and then we use ellipses until she got to ten. Then went to find him. So actually, um, when we use um, ellipses, it shows that there are words being omitted, which is not really necessary. But uh, although these words are omitted, it 
will not um, interfere the meaning of the sentence. Alright, so usually um, students writing newspapers or research paper, they usually employ ellipses to avoid um, um, lengthy copying of text which are not really necessary. All right, so here we have we have British English versus American English. For a symbol like this, in British English, it, it is called a full stop and appeared in American English. And for this symbol, it is called an exclamation mark for British English and an, ex an exclamation point for American English. What about this symbol? It is called brackets in British English and parentheses in American English. And the last one, it is called square brackets in British English and brackets in American English. Right, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and listening. This has been your friend Lenny Ramos. If you have some questions, please follow the link www.facebook.com.lennyenglishteacher And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!